There's a time when the operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart that you can't take part. You can't even passively take part. And you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop. And you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from working at all. You are listening to a rankandfile.ca podcast. Rankandfile.ca is a website dedicated to providing labor news and analysis for rebuilding trade unions and the workers' movement from below. This has been the largest convention in the history of our Congress and our Canadian labor movement. It, it was the democratic, what the democratic looked like. At this convention, we have celebrated the diversity of our movement. We have recommitted to a full equity program. We have debated violence against women and the outrage of missing and murder Aboriginal women. We have heard the voices of the largest number of workers and young workers ever at a CLC convention. <laughs> All of the national and progressive voices this week you have been heard and everyone comes. This historical convention is not only a measure of our democracy, it is also a demonstration of our commitment and our ability for a full group when we need to. Let's not turn the strength of this convention outward to our work, our, our workplaces, for our community and our country. Together, fairness work. Together, we will organize, mobilize, and build workers' power across the country like we have never done. If the sisters and brothers get ever a very poor school zone, I have a five and a half year old daughter, just like many families in this room, mothers and fathers, grandparents. I wanted to have a bright future. We cannot have a bright future if we don't stand up and fight because for too long, they've been putting it on us, we're going to take it back to them. And I know with the solidarity and unity we will leave this convention with, we will do some of the greatest things this country has ever seen. We will fight. Protect yourself, we will fight to make gains, and more importantly, we will fight to make change. I can tell you without any hesitation, I'm truly humble. I came to this country as a young immigrant. It truly is a stunning change of time. It shows how much the color movement has grown. When you can elect a person of color, you came to this country as an immigrant. Thank you so much.